I finally decided now was the time to upgrade my fourth generation Apple iPad to version 9.3.4. I've had version 8.4.1 installed since August last year, 2015. And I read the news that iOS 10 was coming next month, seeing as the iPad 4 is one of the oldest devices that iOS 10 will support. I figured I don't want a potential performance letdown, so now is the time to upgrade or be stuck with iOS 10 and potential performance degradations even worse than iOS 9. So, let's get the comparison started. Looking at the results, the iOS 8 boot time was about 6 seconds faster than iOS 9. There's also a slight delay between the time you press any app button and the time it starts the load animation. In normal usage, it's not a huge deal, but you can definitely see the differences side by side. Pressing the home key had equal performance between the two iOSs. Swipe animation performance was also on par between the two versions. Screen rotation did feel a little bit faster on iOS 9. The two main games that I play, War Robots and Gun Glory Anarchy, seem to have no performance reduction issues. The game that I was worried about playing, Table Hockey, worked just fine on iOS 9. That game hasn't been updated in a very long time, so that worry was put to rest once I loaded it up for the first time. I ran modem speed tests with the Ookla app and they were on par with one another.
iOS 9 took about 25 minutes total to download and install. Your results may vary depending on how fast your internet connection is. Once it was downloaded, it took about 20 minutes to install, running off just the battery. I wish I could say the same about my Windows 10 installation, but that's for a whole different video. So, in conclusion, if you've been waiting to install iOS 9 and you have a fourth generation iPad, the one that came out in 2012, I think they also re-released it in 2014, either way, I would recommend it because 9.3.4 seems very stable, the performance issues were negligible, and overall, so far, I'm very happy with the upgrade. The one thing I didn't show on screen that is noticeable and is a slight annoyance is if you do talk to text, there's about a two second delay that iOS 8 didn't have. So that's really the only thing that kind of bothers me because I do use talk to text quite a lot. But besides that, iOS 9 works pretty damn good. And as far as app compatibility and security issues are concerned, it's obviously the better choice. I'm definitely not going to be upgrading to iOS 10 when it comes out. I'll probably wait another year or whatever until I do that. So if any other versions of iOS 9 come out between now and iOS 10, I'll do another comparison video. This has been Adam for RealHomeRecording.com. Let me just view the goddamn website. Come on, man. Stupid ass shit.